What's going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Today, out here at Cedar City Three Peaks, awesome, excellent RC crawling terrain, super fun. Lots of really wild rock formations with crazy grip. We're gonna be driving the three link capper today. And when I first pulled up, I saw this patch of rocks and I was like, man, this will be super fun with my MOA. And then I grabbed my three link capra and the lines that's been pulling off in here have been blowing my mind. So we're gonna go drive them on camera, see what kind of craziness we can capture. There's some really wicked stuff in here that I just pulled off and I'm quite confident I can do it again. So let's see if we can make it happen. Let's check it out. All right, guys, this car has got some awesome upgrades along with my straight axle conversion part. Again, that kit is available on westdesertwheeler.com. So we've got Vanquish metal axles. We've got 2.2 stainless rotor weights up front. Got Spec RC custom CNC wheels. I'm gonna see if we can get dive down in here a little bit of throttle happy at the end that's all right it's got a vanquish three gear transmission with hertz dig unit that's how you saw that uh, front burn right there now we're going to come up this wall and turn left uh, i missed my left turn right there slight reverse Gotta get, now I ended up on my chassis there. Gotta get just a little angle on the rears to make it happy and wanna climb. There she goes. Now it looks like I'm gonna drive like all the way up this wall on this crack. I'm actually not going to. Just trying to get my rear positioned where I want. We're gonna turn out of it. Right here, that left rear is on a good ledge. And then we're gonna front burn around across this crack. It's gonna get real tippy and crazy looking just lands it and saves it we're gonna go four wheel right there and we're gonna drive straight ahead where it looks like we're going up this ridiculous climb but we're not going there we're actually going to drive the front end up and then burn the front end down and we're going to go around this corner up here so now we're going to front only i'm going to back up just a little Run only again. Ooh, dude, that was so close. Four wheel drive. We need to bring the front end down a little bit because I can't come through on that much of an angle. I also need those rears down a little ways. So now we're gonna front burn up onto this ledge and just leave it in front only and it should pull this rear through. Need that passenger rear to drop in. That's the sick, that's the secret right there. Four wheel drive. We got our hook where we want. Oh, I'm almost falling off a ledge myself. Okay, we're in four. Driving up and around front only to pull the front end through. Back to four wheel, because I need to land this tire across this gap. Oh, it fell, no, that's so close. Damn, that was close. Yeah, I just crawled my way back over here. Run only. That's it, that's it. Right back to where I was. Front only to sink that front end around. Four wheel. Dude, it just loses it right there. Oh, she came around. All right, we got it that time. Okay. Whew, that took some work. That line is very particular on where you wanna go. We're gonna leave this right rear up on the wall. We're gonna get balanced. And then we're gonna drive this crack up and then we're gonna go up the wall on the right. So here it goes, up and around. I'm gonna get vertical. Thanks to those big heavy weights up front. It's gonna lift that inside tire. 
because if the front wasn't heavy enough, the rear would sink and it would flip over backwards. So now we have to kind of side hill out. Here it goes. I can't even see where I'm going. We're gonna chill out on the turning a little bit and we're gonna dive across. Look at the size of this gap. We're gonna see if we can get through here. Okay, front only to bring the front end up. Drives it right up. Four wheel drive, little throttle, and she is out. Real wild lines in there, for sure. Might be wondering if we could have climbed that first crack. Let's find out. Truthfully, I haven't gotten it off camera. I've tried a couple times, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. It was close. Might just be a combination of the right movements is all. I don't want to get too crazy side hill on the rear axle, so we're kind of going to drop the front end in a little bit and then bring it back. Let's get, it just gets so light. No way, it just crawled it. Nice! Uh-oh. Alright, we got it. Wow, first try on camera, that was impressive. I'm going to try one more alternative on this one, just because this little patch of rocks is so fun. There's so many good lines right here. And it's got a nice shady spot for me to film in. That's, that's always a bonus. So we're going to do something similar to our first climb. We're going to dive out of this ledge right here. Front burn around. There she goes. This is just a, such a cool transition. We're going to bring that front end up. And we're going to try and go up the other crack. So we're going to bring our front end down and dip the front right so that it's not so side hill to get that rear across. It's gonna drive and pull it up, perfect. And then we're gonna drive to get that rear axle leveled to the amount that we want. And then we're gonna shoot up the rest of it. Gets a little pinchy up here. So we gotta correct where the rear's gonna end up. The rear's going exactly where the front went. And then we're gonna turn up the wall it's gonna pull the rear right on up out. Just a really cool transition. I like that one a lot. That's a fun one. So I definitely need to thank some of my friends who have their own small businesses who helped make this build possible. Uh, first up, we've got D's Company who makes shock bands. Unfortunately, I don't have them on my car right now, but uh, I normally run them. I just need to get the new colors that I ordered installed. So thanks, Dustin. D's Company can be found on Instagram and Facebook, and that's how his orders are handled. Next up, we've got tire inserts from 816 Garage. It's spelled out eight, and then the numbers one and six, 816 Garage. Uh, Jace over there, another local kid, making these awesome 3D printed inserts that are actually available at Sky RC Hobby Shop. And I'm guessing here, but most likely West Valley Hobbies up, in, up near Salt Lake. But these inserts are awesome, and this car ended up fairly heavy. I think I'm near seven pounds or so. And these inserts really start to come to life with a slightly heavier car. So these are awesome. They fight side hilling better than any other insert I've tried. Jace really nailed the design on it. Ooh. There it goes. Next up, we got Sky RC Hobby Shop down in St. George, Utah. Sky RC has helped me so much, but uh, he also provided feedback and he's actually got my products in his shop. Same with West Valley Hobbies up near Salt Lake. Thanks very much to both of them for helping support myself. It's greatly appreciated. It's not, it's not lost on me, man. I appreciate all the support from these guys. I also need to thank Brian at Hepta Manufacturing who makes full-size Jeep parts. Brian helped me with the design of my part and making sure everything lined up correctly. 
Oh, that's ugly. And we've also got Axial and Vanquish. Those are some bigger companies. They make great parts, but you know what? The people there are still solid dudes and they support those in the hobby. That's a pretty wild save. Don't think I'm getting up that one. Another great company, Lit LED. I've got those on a few of my cars now. This one's got the amber rock lights, the two little spots. And man, they are crazy bright. They work awesome in the dark. Night runs are so awesome with cars with lit LEDs on them. Mine are turned on right now. They're just, we're in daylight, so it's hard to tell. But when it flips upside down, you'll see a couple of yellow lights. Those are my lit LEDs. I did buy these ones on this car. I bought all my lit LEDs. But great company, Nanny over there. Makes some really cool products. Be sure to check them out. His orders are handled through Facebook, I believe or maybe even Instagram, but he does have a website. I just don't think you can order through a store there. But definitely worth checking out, especially if you guys have to run at night for any reason, whether it's too hot in the summer or you just like running in the dark because that's when you have available, definitely check them out. They just plug straight into your 3S sensor port on your battery, so it's super easy to not turn them on. You just don't plug them in. So I like the convenience of that. All right, that was a cool one. Nice transition. Looking for some traction here. That front weight bias is super nice and really helps out on these climbs. And then another one I definitely need to thank is all of you guys for watching the channel. Always greatly appreciated. I mean, like it's pretty wild what this has turned into. Just going out in RC crawl and turned into making some videos for YouTube. Now I do this full time and I've got my own small parts and store, my own website. Super rad, all from the support of you guys watching. So thank you all very much. I greatly appreciate those who subscribe, comment, like, but even if you don't do any of that, if you just watch, I appreciate that too. It's always fun meeting people who say that they like my content because they're it's interesting who does watch, you know what I mean? A lot of guys I look up to watch my channel, which I think is funny. So I, I really appreciate it. Very thankful in this video, I suppose. Maybe I'll post this on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Come on, just, just get that bite. There it is, nice. Up the steep climb into the next crack, cool. Something really interesting about this part that I made for this car is the number one reason behind it was to be able to steal capper axles. And it, as it turns out, these capras really come to life on straight axles too. They're just a solid platform to build on. Like the first time I drove one of these with straight axles, it blew me away with how good it was. And it wasn't with the Gucci axles, the metal stuff. It was with the plastic axial axles. It didn't have a dig unit. And like, it just killed lines. Like the hard ones I know in my area where my rear steer cars, I had a lot of fun on. This thing got in there and just tore it up. And like, the funniest part to me is that it was never really meant to be a performance benefit, but it is. I can't say for sure whether it would beat a capper on capper axles but a capper without capper axles is still a damn good car and then other builds with capper axles are damn good cars so that's the benefit right there i run them on three or four of my projects right now i've got a sporty i just put together a g-speed on capper axles and then my chupa capra which is supposed to be a capra i just swapped the cage out that's got Vanquish metal capper axles on them as well. So I'm a big fan of those, which is why I came up with the product to procure them. Because the only way to get capper axles is to buy a capra. And you'd otherwise just be throwing the rest of the car away. And I was like, well, why don't we come up with a way to make the rest of it useful again? And this is it, and they're really fun. So, yeah. Obviously I may come across as biased, but a car still has to be fun for me to want to drive it, and I drive this one a lot. So 
So this crack out at Cedar City, I have tried with different vehicles every time I've come out and I've never conquered it. I just conquered it off camera because I wanted to make sure I had the focus I needed to get through it. And it was technical, it binds you up, it's tricky, but this car can do it. So here we go on our way up. It's gonna get real vertical here in a second. I just need to make sure I keep this rear axle level. This is about as steep as she gets. So for some perspective, it's on like 65, 70 degree incline on the way out. Just about to have our fronts go over the top of the steepest part. That's it. Rear tire's coming up. Trying to keep it balanced. This is like kind of the ultimate crack out here that I know of. Like I say, a little bindy. Really got to use the power of the system. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, there she goes. The top of that rear tire is dragging and it just wants to pull the car backwards. It doesn't want to let it go forward. I'm fighting as much as I can with the fronts, but I can't go too low on the front. And there it is. Up and out. Nice and clean. This car is awesome. Well, all right, guys, I think this is just about to wrap it up here with the three link Capra. Really trying to push the limits on this one in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Going up a crazy steep climb right now. I'm gonna try and shoot up the wall on the left here in a second. Woo! Let's give that one more shot because. Warm up the tires, get the dust off of them. Maybe put a little more pressure on the sidewall by climbing it a little, little crooked. Maybe that was a little too much crooked. There she goes. Tried to grab dig, but it didn't engage. I think I've already wore out my dig unit again. There she goes. That's it. Dip the tire, bring it across. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Ah, so close. goes let's do one big steep drop to end this one out so if you guys are interested in this part pick yourself up an axial capra pick yourself up a set of axial ar45 straight axles that's what i designed the kit for you definitely can use it for other axles but the ar45s uh, are available from axial in a kit ready to go and have a little bit of extra hardware in there that you will need for the conversion if you're using the ar45s at least Big steep drop, but I have an affiliate link to A Main Hobbies and Horizon. Right now, Horizon's got a deal going on on the Axial Capra kit, so you can pick one up at a deal. I think they're like $269 right now, which is a screaming deal for an Axial Capra. And uh, you can rob the axles out of it if you choose to do so. If you just click on the link down in the description, go to check out from there, <laughs> it'll help support my channel. You guys know I'm a fan of the Capra. Go get yourself one. We'll see you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down. GoPro's almost dead. One last little bonus climb for you guys who like to watch till the end. Thanks so much for doing that. Greatly appreciated.
Look at this car, hold on. Thanks, guys.